In one corner, we have 2016's GTX 1080, sporting a whole 8GB of VRAM, a single 8-pin power connector, and sharing the same bloodline as the 1080 Ti, it's got something to prove. And in the other corner, we have the 2021 RTX 3060, sporting a whole 12GB of VRAM and one inflated price tag. Who will win? What? What's this? The GTX 1080 stepdad, the GTX 1080 Ti, has come out for a round. Which will win? Only the graphs will tell. Fight. Now watch as you click off this video because you think you've gotten what you've come for. I mean, hell, there's even a six game average so you can quickly and easily see which card performs the best. But what if I told you that there was more to this story? There's a graph I haven't shown you yet. And this graph seals the fate of both the GTX 1080 Ti and GTX 1080. Because boy oh boy, the LSS is a game changer. Literally, because I had to change games to find ones with the option. Anyway, here it is. Watch as the RTX 3060 absolutely decimates its grandparents and itself. That's right, with performance DLSS enabled on R6 and Wolfenstein Youngblood, it averages not just two times faster than the GTX 1080, but three times faster. Now, granted, DLSS is only available on a few games, but if the games you do play support it, then the RTX 3060 is frankly a no-brainer. But if you can't afford it, let alone even buy one where you live, and there's a 1080 available for only about half the price of what the RTX 3060 is normally in your area, that's when I'd start considering it. But then again, it is an older card, so you'll only find it on the used market. So there's a lot more variables to consider than just the price. Like, has it been overclocked? Has it been overheating? Has that specific model aged well in terms of failure rate? And is the seller even reputable? Just to name a few. And if you're wondering about the 1080 Ti, well, that card at a similar price to the RTX 3060 makes, frankly, zero sense. It's older, it consumes more power, it doesn't have DLSS, and it's worse for video editing and streaming thanks to its older encoder and less VRAM. I'd really only recommend it at up to a 10 to 20% higher price than the GTX 1080. But if you do find a GTX 1080 you're wanting to buy, then you should check out this video right here for ones that you should probably avoid.